I want to explore the concept of, I want to explore quickly the concept of a teacher. Um, most of us can look back in our life and identify somebody that helped to elevate us to the next level. Someone we would refer to as a teacher for that moment at least in our life to carry us forward. I wanted to ask if you could speak about the idea of teacher and what that means to you in your life. Well, a teacher, I've had lots of teachers in my life from whom I've learned a, a great deal of things ranging from math to psychology to yoga, I mean, to so many different things. In the spiritual tradition, we speak about a guru, which is actually different. And it's an important distinction because those of us who are educated, who have any bit of academics in us, what we know is you can learn a lot about something. I know, Tommy, you do so much work with addictions, and we learn all about why we're addicted. We read books on it. Maybe we write books on it. But that doesn't actually change the fact that we are addicted. And we may take all kinds of classes and learn all about why we are feeling separate, why we're upset, why we're not having a honeymoon effect. But all the learning does not actually change the reality that we're living in. And the word guru literally means the one who removes the darkness and brings the light. And it's a light of truth. It's a light with which we really can see. And it's a light within ourselves. In Indian culture, the darkness is darkness of ignorance. We don't have time to go into the whole philosophy of that darkness of ignorance. But the guru is really the one who brings that light. And on a personal level, what I have found with having a guru is that it's crucially important. And it's crucially important because my own ego is too smart. I spent many, many years of my life, before I had a guru, learning all about what we should do, how we should do, how to overcome this, how to overcome that. But the ego is so good and so afraid. I mean, it's not evil. It's not trying to harm us. It's just so afraid of being annihilated that it, it'll become whatever you want it to be. And so what the ego does is it starts to be that inner voice within us that says, oh, you don't need to do that. Oh, you don't need to do this. Oh, this person who's telling you that is just, they're, they're arrogant. They're the problem. You're good. See, look, aham brahmasmi. I am God. I mean, if I'm God, like, so why do I need anybody to help me at all? Why do I need to take a yoga class? Why do I need to go to therapy? Why do I need a teacher? Why do I need to work on anything? I'm God. So the ego, the ego can even co-opt very deep spiritual truths for its own benefit. And it's very good at that. And what the guru does is shine a light through all of that. The guru is really the one who says, uh-uh, not so fast. Yes, you're divine. Yes, you're wonderful. And yes... You are this lump of clay on a wheel that's going around. And don't worry, I'm just going to keep beating you a little bit. And at the end, that who you are, that which you are will emerge. But if you jump off this wheel, because you already think you're done, or because you don't like to be slapped as you go around the wheel, you're never going to be that. And I know, for example, that I would never be where I am in my life on any level if I didn't have a guru. Because it's too easy not to go there. It's too easy to just 
do this with ourselves all the time. You are the right one. You're great. Other people are the problem. The place is the problem. The, your in-laws are the problem. You know, whatever it is. But the light of the guru is so strong. And the love of the guru is so strong that that light just transforms. Yeah. A, a teacher to me is one that offers information that if we take this information, she'll guide us through our lives. And it's interesting because we always have some presumption that some teacher must be well-trained and have so many degrees and certificates and years and years of practice. And we always look for who is that guru. From my own personal experience, the most exciting thing is who was Bruce's guru that took him from his former existence into this existence? It wasn't even a person. It was a cell. I learned from cells. Teachers can be anyone. Teachers, are, children can be the best teachers. If we see how children respond with love and how the joy of their life, what happened to us when we were those children with joy and love and all that beautiful part of growing up? We had teachers. And many of those teachers took us right out of that program. And so not all the teachers are taking us in the right place. So what is a teacher? One who offers information that can change the direction and character of your life. Are there any necessary degrees or certificates? Absolutely not. And the whole point is this, we're open to learning. So don't make a special image a teacher. You don't know where you're gonna get those lessons from. Be open to read and respond to the world around you because then you will have power to participate and create the world around you. And in closing, I really want to honor our dear brother, Tommy, who has handled us wild animals. He has tamed us. Thank you, Tommy, for helping this program. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. So. Um, this is something I've always wanted to say. International Yoga Festival, Parmoth Nikitan. Put your hands together and show your love.